surrender, space pirates. You have no chance. We have you. Oh, no. No. Why are the galaxy police always faster than us? Tune in next time for the episode entitled No Chance for the Space Pirates. The galaxy police are always faster. Whoa. That was such a cool episode. And this time, they were on Mars. Well, it was a little unrealistic. Apart from that, no human has ever set foot on Mars. But it's only a movie, Robert. What is it really like on Mars? Yeah, tell us about Mars. Okay, let's imagine that we are in a rocket on the way to Mars. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, hooray. We're, we're off, off to, to Mars. Mars. Cool. When do we get there? In approximately three minutes, five hours, 14 days, and six months. What? You're kidding. No. Under ideal conditions, one would be traveling for at least six months. That is, if Mars was only 56 million kilometers from Earth. Only 56 million kilometers? Yes. That is the shortest distance. However, since Mars, just like Earth, orbits the Sun, this distance can also change. At its longest, this distance is more than 400 million kilometers. Wow, that is crazy. What will we do for that amount of time? We'll simply press the fast forward button. Wow, that was cool. I wish we could do that in school. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm floating! Me too, and I feel really light. That is the zero gravity in space. Zero gravity is mega cool! Wow, check it out. That's Mars over there. It's pretty big. Yes, but it is still only around half the size of the Earth. How come Mars is red? The rocks on the surface of Mars contain lots of iron. And since there used to be lots of water on Mars long ago, the iron is rusty. That is how Mars got its red color. Rusty? Like the cars at the scrapyard? Yes, exactly. Can we go to Mars now? Yes, we can. To do this, we must land the space station on the surface of Mars. Oh, yay! yay! Awesome landing, Robert. Thank you. Can we go outside now? I want to be the first boy on Mars. Unfortunately not, because the oxygen content on Mars is too low for humans to be able to breathe. You can only go outside in one of those protective suits. But that thing is much too big. Yes, that's true. But unfortunately, nobody has yet made spacesuits for children. That's a pity. Correct. But we'll just imagine that we are sitting in the Mars rover driving across Mars. Cool. Can I drive? But you don't have a driving license. <laughs> Who do you think is going to check that up here? I am a better driver. It's very cold in here. Yes. But it's much colder outside. The average temperature on Mars is minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. At night, however, it can sometimes get as cold as minus 184 degrees. I thought it would look different. How did you imagine life would be on Mars? Just like Earth, I guess, but even more awesome. No, humans will not be able to live on Mars as they do on Earth. Most of their time will be spent indoors. It looks like a conservatory. People will have to bring everything that they need with them from Earth in order to live on Mars. If that's not possible, those things will have to be produced here. All the food, clothing, tools, and even the oxygen will have to be produced. So people will have to stay indoors all day and never go out? People will probably only go outside if it is absolutely necessary to make repairs to the buildings or to carry out research work. 
but perhaps robots will perform all those tasks. No riding bicycles, swimming, or playing basketball? No. Where would you even go to do those things? Mars looks more or less the same everywhere. It is one big sandy rocky desert. That is very sad. Yes. Life on Mars will not be as nice as it is on Earth. I think I would like to go home again. Me too. Well then, let's imagine that we're back in your living room at home. Yay! We're home again. I think I really need to go outside right now. Hey, are you guys coming? Yes, yes we'd, we'd love, love to. to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Let's go out and play. Oh, <laughs>